Today on CF Blue, we are making the SEPTA Nova Bus LFS Arctic HEV bus. So SEPTA, that runs in southeastern Pennsylvania, and this is the low floor series articulated hybrid electric bus. Now I'm going to be going over some notable features about this. So they do have a bike rack in the front, and they also have like this light on top. I don't know why they have it, but it's there on the top. I wish I could add more roof detail, but there's almost like no videos or pictures I could find of like the top of this bus. Um, anyways, here on the side, there's actually no door here in the middle. There's one in the back though, so that there's just two of them like that. Also have like a new wheel well design. Uh, what I'm doing before, I used stairs, but now I'm going to use slabs so that we have a little more uh, space for the wheel well to make it uh, a lot bigger. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. It is another commission by Trainmaster3985, and he's going to be commissioning yet another SEPTA bus after this. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and let's get started. So first off, we'll grab the basic materials. We'll take out another brick slab. Smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz block, black wool, polished uh, blackstone brick slab and wall, stone button, and polished blackstone bricks. Alright, so after we've done that, we're going to add in nether brick slabs, so it's going to be four blocks wide, hovering above the ground. And then behind it, we'll add in that polished blackstone brick slab, two blocks wide, and 26 blocks long, so one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, and after twenty-six, we're gonna add four blocks wide of nether brick slabs. Alright, then from the back we're gonna add in three smooth quartz slabs here, so one, two, and three. Other side, same thing, one, two, and three. I'm going to add in this wheel, it's going to be a black wall with a polished black stone brick wall in front of that stone button to the side. And then the inside, we're going to make a two by two of black concrete. And we'll add in the wheel here on the other side, black wall. The wall in the front, stone button to the side. And then next up, we'll add in the wheel in the front. So let's go over there. So we're going to add in uh, these three smooth quartz slabs. And then black wall, uh, black stone brick wall, stone button to the side, and a 2x2 two two black concrete. Now the other side, we'll add in the wheel here as well, just copying the same design. And the front here will add in a smooth quartz slab. And then we'll go back onto this side and we can add in a smooth quartz slab over here. And we'll make it two, four, six blocks long. So two, four, and six. And actually it's seven, so seven blocks long like that. And then we'll add in another wheel right here. So black wool. Black stone brick wall behind it, stone button side, other side, same thing. And make that 2x2 two two black concrete inside. Alright, so after we have all that, we'll take out smooth quartz uh, slab and stairs. So we'll add in slabs to an upper slab to the tops of all the wheels first. Alright, just above that black wall part. All right, then we'll add in uh, upside down smooth quartz stairs facing towards the slab, the side of this black concrete. Righty, and should be the last one right there. Great. All right, so on um, this side right over here, we'll add in uh, these two polished blackstone brick slabs both sides and then we'll add in polished blackstone brick and we're going to make a 2x3 three. so 3 blocks tall, 2 blocks wide then on top we'll add in polished blackstone brick slabs all the way so that they connect like so in the middle of this we'll add in smooth quartz slabs all the way 
across like that. Alright, so the other side will go in between these wheels, fill this in, smooth quartz slabs, and then smooth quartz block on top. Other side, fill this middle part in, smooth quartz slabs, I mean blocks, like that, and you can fill in this part as well. Then we'll fill it in after the wheel well, like that. And then the other side, we'll fill in this corner in with smooth quartz as well. Then we'll add in uh, two by two smooth quartz here in the back. Like that. And then we'll add in a two by three of smooth quartz in the middle of this. And at the top, we can make that five blocks wide. I mean, four blocks wide like that. And we'll add in smooth quartz stairs at the bottom of this. Both sides. And then smooth quartz stairs here. And then smooth quartz block next to it. Alright, next we'll add in a blackstone button on the bottom corners. Then we'll add in two dark oak buttons above it, both sides. Then we'll add in um, this birch sign here. And then a warp button. And apparently they're supposed to be uh, this little red and uh, blue here, so I forgot that existed. So. We need to punch a two block wide hole here and we're going to add in red on the left red concrete and then blue concrete next to it and then smooth quartz slabs and upper slabs cross like that then the middle on top we'll add two blocks wide of ladders then on top of that we'll add in polish and a site slab at the corner here and then another brick slab up here next uh, we're going to add in this side here. There's going to be some doorways, so we'll take out black concrete, uh, oak slabs. So we'll go in the back here, add two oak slabs, and then a two by three of black concrete. And then smooth quartz slabs side here, smooth quartz blocks on top of that, and go in the front. We're going to add two oak slabs like that, and then a two by three black concrete. And then smooth quartz block right there. Now in the front, we're going to add smooth quartz slabs. I mean blocks in the corners. And then smooth quartz slabs in the middle. Then we'll need that red concrete on the left. And blue concrete on the right. Now to the side, we'll add in a warp button. I mean a warped sign right there. Then we'll add in a stone button for the headlights. Then for the bike rack, we'll add in two birch fence gates, open the one on the left. Alright, then to the side this, fill this in, smooth quartz. Then we'll add in some, um, black glass, four blocks wide here. And then four blocks wide black panes like that. Then we'll make uh, this part here in the front. A 2x4 black concrete all the way across. Then on top, we're going to add four blocks wide. This polished blackstone brick slab like that. Then we'll add in a smooth quartz block in the sides. And then smooth quartz um, stairs. Sort in the middle of this and then a slab next to it. Alright. Then we'll go um, right to this back part. Let's add in black concrete. Now we're going to make this sort of like the inner wall of this with black concrete so starting from this where this stairs is and then we're going to go all the way across so i'm making this like long two by two all the way across here we reach <clears throat> the front just because this is a blacked out window bus very dented all right so once you have reach the front it should look like this All right so after we're done with that we'll add in um, white concrete a pair here in the front two blocks wide and then we'll go in the back I'm going to add blue concrete two blocks wide and four blocks long so one two three four like that then the rest of it is going to be red concrete all the way across to the front skip the vestibule area and 
make our way to the front. Then to the side of all this, we'll add in smooth quartz slab. So actually, we'll need a polished blackstone brick slab right here in the front. I mean the back first. And then we'll add in the smooth quartz slabs all the way across. It's going to be an upper slab. That all the way. And the other side's pretty much going to be the same thing, I believe. So, yeah, it's supposed to be all red here. And once we have done that, let's go back in the front. We'll add in acacia sign to the sides of this, both sides. Then we shall add in another brick fence to the side of this for a side view mirror. And we'll add another side view mirror using dark oak fence gate. Open that up towards the pane and then a wither skeleton skull in front of that. Next up, uh, we can add in a flower pot right here. It's gonna be on the right hand side. Bam, like that. And then you'll see in the middle of the roof, we'll add in snow layer. The snow layer is gonna go all the way across. We'll just make one layer for now and then we'll add in some more later. So just add this layer covering up all this red. And then we'll add another one so it lines up with the flower pot like that. Alright, so next we're going to make this uh, outer layer. So we'll add in snow over here, just one layer first on either side of this vestibule. And then we're going to make it a layer taller than that, like this. So you see it kind of sticks out. And then we're going to extend that so it goes in the front here, I believe. Yeah, it starts over here. Right at the flower pot, just two layers tall for now. Let me make this go all the way. Cross the sides here. And then in the back, we're going to make this two blocks, I mean two layers tall all the way to the back. Alright, so after we've done that, in the back here, we're going to make, uh, I would say this like three layers, three layers tall like that. And it looks to be, yeah, there's actually going to be a little bump here in the back. So we're going to go right over here and then we'll skip these two raised snow layers and we'll add in another layer here both sides and we're going to make this go all the way to the back other side same thing sorry if it's kind of hard to see because it's all white anyways next we'll add in snow layer in between that and then snow layers two layers tall and this will go all the way to the back like that all right then we'll go back over here we're going to add in another layer to this I guess right by now it should be like four layers tall on the sides. So you just extend that out. So they line up like this. Alright, so that's a lot of snow layers, uh, but we'll need to do that. Alright, very good. Alright, so once we're done with that, we're going to make some banners. So first off, we'll need the loom. And we're going to need a black banner. So get that black banner and we'll need white dye. So first off, we'll make a white dye border around this black banner. That's going to be one of the banners. And the other banner, we'll need to add a white line across towards the left-hand column like that. So we're going to put this left-hand column here on the side of the bus like that. So it acts as an A-pillar, kind of like that. While on the sides here, we'll add in 2 by 2 of these giant window banners like that, so this could be the doorway. And in the back we're just going to add in two like that. In the bottom we'll just add a plain white banner underneath it, like that. Alright, so next we'll take out smooth quartz slab, go above this wheel well, two blocks wide here. Go over here, two blocks wide slabs, and then two blocks tall, smooth quartz block. Then back over here we'll add in slabs, three blocks, like that. All right, next we'll go on the other side and we'll add it above the wheel well. These slabs, three blocks wide like that, all the way to the back and two blocks wide on top of this other wheel well 
Next, we'll add in a diorite wall. It's going to be uh, two blocks tall here. I'm going to add another one in front of this wheel well in the middle. Add another one so that it's going to be, I guess, the third block away from the gangway. Like that. Alright, so next up, we'll add in some birch trap doors. Now, it is optional, again, if you want to use iron doors, if you can't use iron trap door. So, uh, first off, we're going to go right above this stairs and we will add in these two birch trap doors that's going to be one pillar and skip a block we'll add another pillar here and then we'll skip a block add another pillar and this pillar is actually going to be back to back because it's a little bit thicker than the other ones and then we'll add another one right here and it is optional if you want to just turn this into a uh, white banner like that so I guess it goes like more all the way down I don't know it's up to you but for now we'll just use that trap door go to the back of this add in two trap doors close them up another two in front of the slab open up and we're gonna add another one right over here towards the back I guess it lines up with the wheel right or maybe not maybe it goes oh yeah it actually goes and this trap door goes all the way back there so it's after the wheel okay next the other side uh, we'll add in right after this doorway skip a block add another one here add another one here on both sides of the gangway and then two blocks stall diorite wall here and what else we're gonna skip two blocks add another diorite wall skip two diorite wall and over here, we'll add in these two birch trap doors like that. And then skip a block, add another one. And then we'll skip a block and add another one. So that, that should be all the window pillars. Okay, now I'm going to add in some buttons. So I'll take out acacia button. I'm going to add that in the front of the front wheel. And then we'll skip a block ahead of this middle wheel and add another one here. We'll add one next to this doorway. And another one after the last wheel. And then we'll add in the other side. So it goes after the wheel here. And then in front of the first wheel. And we'll add a stone button right here underneath the slab. And another one next to the acacia button. And then we shall add in an uh, item frame with an orange <laughs> concrete block and a warped sign. So first off, we'll add item frame here, orange concrete block, then a warped sign for the blue line. And the other side, we can do the same thing. Like that. Alright, so once you've done that, that is pretty much it on how to build a SEPTA Nova Bus LFS Arctic HEV in Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks again to Trainmaster3985 for commissioning this build and making this video possible. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.